Can you believe it's been 59 years since the iconic TV show Goma Pile, USMC first graced our screens? Are you excited to gather with your family and delve into this nostalgic journey? Let's embark on an exploration of the cast from that era and discover where they are now. Let's begin with Forrest Compton, whose portrayal of Lieutenant Colonel Edward Gray left a lasting impression. At the age of 39, he brought depth and authenticity to the character. Sadly, on April 4th, 2020, in Shelter Island, New York, at the age of 94, he succumbed to COVID-19, joining the millions worldwide affected by the devastating illness. Compton's legacy extends far beyond his role on screen, as he touched the hearts of audiences with his talent and dedication. Though he may have left us, his contributions to television and the arts continue to be cherished and remembered fondly. Next, we remember Barbara Stewart, whose portrayal of Bunny left an indelible mark on audiences when she was just 34 during filming in 1964. In 1967, she faced a health scare, cancelling her honeymoon with Dick Gautier due to hospitalisation for a blood clot that had migrated to her lungs. Sadly, on May 15, 2011, she passed away at the age of 81 in St. George, Utah. Stewart's talent and dedication to her craft resonated with viewers, and her contributions to the show remain cherished. Despite her untimely departure, her legacy endures through her memorable performances and the impact she made on those who had the pleasure of watching her on screen. In 1965, Ted Bessel captivated audiences with his portrayal of Frankie, a role he breathed life into at the age of 30. With a successful career spanning three decades, his talent left a lasting impact. However, it is with heavy hearts that we share the news of his passing on October 6, 1996 at the age of 61, due to an aortic aneurysm in Westwood, Los Angeles, California. Bessel's contributions to the entertainment industry were significant and his performances were beloved by many. Though he may no longer be with us, his legacy lives on through his work and the memories he created for fans around the world. Ronnie Shell, a pivotal figure in the show, portrayed the character of Duke Slater with charm and wit at the age of 33. Beyond his acting prowess, he is celebrated as an American stand-up comedian. Now, at the vibrant age of 93, Shell continues to embrace life fully, savouring the delights of Richmond, California, alongside his wife of over 50 years, Janet Roderberg, whom he married in 1968. His enduring presence in both television and comedy showcases his remarkable talent and dedication to his craft. Shell's journey serves as an inspiration, demonstrating that age is no barrier to enjoying all that life has to offer. If you enjoy this video, leave a number one in the comment section. Elizabeth McRae, who illuminated the screen with her portrayal of Lou Ann Poovey, left an indelible mark on audiences at the age of 30 during filming in 1966. With a career spanning five decades, she made the decision to retire in 2011. Now, at the age of 88, she resides in Columbia, South Carolina, embracing the richness of life surrounded by loved ones and cherished friends. McRae's enduring talent and contributions to the entertainment industry have left a lasting legacy, and her dedication to her craft continues to inspire. As she enjoys her well-deserved retirement, her presence on screen remains a testament to her remarkable ability to captivate and enchant audiences with her performances. Roy Stewart's portrayal of Corporal Boyle exuded vibrancy and depth when he graced the screen at the age of 38 during filming in 1965. Prior to his television career, Stewart honed his craft in nightclubs and theatres, showcasing his talent and versatility. It is with profound sadness that we share the news of his passing on December 25, 2005, at the age of 78, after battling cancer in Woodland Hills, Los Angeles, California. 
Stewart's contributions to entertainment left a lasting impact and his performances were cherished by many. Though he may no longer be with us, his legacy lives on through his work and the memories he created for audiences. In 1964, Jim Neighbors delighted audiences with his portrayal of the endearing character Goma Pyle, infusing genuine humour into the role at the age of 34. His illustrious acting career spanned six decades, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry until its conclusion in 2014. However, it is with a heavy heart that we must share the sad news of his passing on November 30th 2017, at the age of 87 in Honolulu, Hawaii, due to complications related to his immune system. While bidding farewell is never easy, let us fondly remember the humorous and meaningful moments that Jim Neighbors gifted to the screen, ensuring that his legacy continues to bring joy and laughter to audiences for generations to come. It is with deep sorrow that we remember January 17, 2008, the day Alan Melvin departed from us due to cancer at the age of 84 in Brentwood, Los Angeles, California. Melvin skillfully portrayed the character Sergeant Charlie Hacker, leaving an enduring impression on audiences when he was just 42 during filming in 1965. His performances painted vivid pictures on the screen, capturing the hearts of many. While we mourn his loss, let us cherish the memories of his talent and the impact he made in the world of entertainment. Alan Melvin's legacy lives on through his remarkable contributions to television and film, ensuring that he will always be remembered fondly by those who had the privilege of watching him perform. The untimely departure of Frank Sutton left a void in the hearts of many. Sadly, at the age of 50, he succumbed to a heart attack on June 28, 1974, leaving behind a legacy that continues to be cherished. Sutton's portrayal of Sergeant Vince Carter brought a vibrant presence to the screen when he was 41 during filming in 1964. Prior to his acting career, he served in the US Army for three years, bringing authenticity to his military roles. Despite his premature passing, Sutton's impact on the audience remains profound and enduring. As for the duration of his acting career, it spanned several decades, showcasing his talent and versatility over the years. If you enjoy our main cast, please leave the number two. Conversely, if you don't like this video, leave the number zero. In 1965, William Christopher graced the screen with his portrayal of Lester Hummel, a character he imbued with life at the age of 33. Beyond this role, he also brought joy and laughter to millions as Father Mulcahy. Sadly, our hearts still ache from his departure in 2016, when he passed away at the age of 84 in Pasadena, California, due to small cell lung cancer, unrelated to smoking. Christopher's contributions to both television and cinema are remembered fondly and his performances continue to resonate with audiences worldwide. Though he may no longer be with us, his legacy lives on through the enduring impact of his work, reminding us of the talent and warmth he brought to the screen throughout his remarkable career. Buck Young graced the screen with his portrayal of Sergeant Whipple leaving a vibrant impression at the age of 43 during filming in 1964. Sadly, we reflect on February 4, 2000, the day he departed from us at the age of 78 in Los Angeles, California. His passing, reportedly due to natural causes and without any known illness, fills our hearts with utmost sorrow. Young's contribution to the world of entertainment is remembered fondly, and his performances continue to resonate with audiences. Though he may no longer be with us, his talent and presence on screen serve as a lasting testament to his remarkable career. We cherish the memories he created and the joy he brought to countless viewers throughout his lifetime. Thank you for watching this trip down memory lane on Nostalgia Head. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe and hit the like button. 
Your support truly helps the channel grow. And while you're at it, why not check out some more of our content? We've got plenty of nostalgia to share. Until next time, take care and keep those memories alive.